Welcome to the video of Ort. In preparation for Purim, I would like to share a brief Dvar Torah, followed by a few riddles for our Purim pleasure. So first to the Dvar Torah. We learn about the Urim Vitumim, the breastplate that the Kohen Gadol wore, and the Ramban famously teaches, based on the Gemara, that uh, the way the the Urim Vitumim worked was that uh, the Kohen would ask a question to God, and the answer would come back in the form of letters being lit up on the Urim Vitumim. It would be like an anagram. And through special Ruach HaKodesh, the Kohen would be able to discern the message that was being, uh, that was being submitted. The Vilna Gon also famously teaches and applies this teaching of the Ramban to a story in Tanakh between Eli and Chana. Eli saw Chana davening, but he thought that she was possibly a drunkard because she was standing there mumbling to herself. So he asked the question to God. God uh, sent him an answer through the Urim Vitumim. The letters lit up, Shin, Kaf, Resh, Hey, which he understood to mean Shikora, that she was indeed drunk. However, those letters also can be scrambled to read, Kaf, Shin, Resh, Hey, Kishera, that she was fine, that she was good, that she was upright and perfect. The message, I think, is clear. That when it comes to any situation where we are not clear how to judge one way or the other, positively or negatively, we should always judge the person positively. Because even Eli, without the special Ruach HaKodesh provided from God, was subject trying to get a message from God, was subject to misinterpretation and misunderstanding. And now, to the riddles. Number one, there is a place in Pesuke de Zimra where we have four words consecutive to one another that share the same Shoresh, the same root. Four words, consecutive, share the same root. Number two, there's a place in uh, Shemona Esrei, there are two sets of grandfathers and grandsons mentioned. Two sets of grandfathers and grandsons, who are they? And lastly, two food items, one prohibited to eat, one permissible to eat. Put them together, wait a little bit, and now the one that was permissible becomes prohibited, and the one that was prohibited becomes permissible. What are the food items? Have an enjoyable Freilichen Purim and a delightful, spiritually uplifting Shabbos. Good Shabbos.